the speed of light is actually terrifyingly slow. You heard that right. The speed of light, something we often treat as the ultimate symbol of speed and power, is in truth terrifyingly slow when placed against the scale of the universe. It sounds counterintuitive, almost insulting to common sense, but the deeper we look into the cosmos, the more this brutal truth becomes undeniable. Light is not nearly as fast as we imagine. It is only fast inside the tiny neighborhood we call home, but it becomes pitifully sluggish when stretching across the infinite landscape of space. Here on Earth, the speed of light feels mythic. In just a single second, it can travel around the planet seven and a half times. Nothing humans have ever built, no rocket, no particle beam, no propulsion system, even comes close. When Einstein wrote his theory of relativity, he essentially carved the speed of light into the foundation of reality, treating it as a sacred boundary, the constant that tells space and time how to behave. But this idea crumbles the moment we expand our vision beyond the solar system. Out in the vastness of the universe, where distances are measured not in kilometers or astronomical units, but in light years, thousands of light years, millions of light years, and billions of light years, the speed of light becomes unimaginably slow. Slow in a way that makes communication, travel, and even awareness between civilizations almost impossible. Light is history, not the present. The sunlight that touches your skin is not now. It is eight minutes old. Whatever happened on the sun during those last eight minutes is completely unknown to us. The sun could vanish at this very instant, and Earth would drift in peaceful ignorance for eight more minutes before reality caught up. And that is only a distance of 150 million kilometers, a trivial speck compared to the cosmic scale. When you look at the Andromeda galaxy through a telescope, you are not seeing it as it is today. You're seeing light that began its journey 2.5 million years ago, roughly when early humans were shaping the first stone tools. The night sky is not a live broadcast. It is a museum of ancient light, a vast library of frozen moments scattered across the heavens. Every star you see is a postcard from the past. Every nebula is a fossilized memory. The farther we look, the older the universe appears. If Earth 